areas of the country where he seems to be finding strong support. Let's talk about that. Joining us from Raleigh, North Carolina is Bamani Jones, the host of The Morning Jones on Sirius Radio. And in, Al in Birmingham, Alabama, Paul Feinbaum joins us again. He's the host of the Paul Feinbaum Radio Network. Thanks to both of you. Paul, you're down there in Alabama. Hank was wearing an Alabama hat when he made those comments. What sort of response are you hearing down there? People down here love Hank Williams, and they love him for a lot of reasons, TJ. First of all, he's, a, he's an icon. He's the son of the most famous country music singer of all time. And he's done a lot. He's given back to the state. A couple of months ago, Hank Williams raised millions of dollars for tornado victims in Tuscaloosa, and that matters to people. And what people down here don't like are people like Dave Zirin making idiotic statements about country music songs that Hank Williams has written. I, I've respected Dave for a long time, but I think the statement he made today is the single stupidest I've ever heard in the history of this program. Uh, well, before I go to Dave, Paul, could you... <laughs> Do I get to you, respond to that? Uh, yeah, you absolutely will. But, 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 well, Dave, go ahead. Uh, you take sure. over. <laughs> Well, just it's a slap in the face to country music because it's a stereotype about country music that everybody who's involved in it believes in the Confederate flag, believes in oppressing people, and believes in the idea that comparing to no, pre Dave, the president Dave, you don't Adolf understand. Hitler is Dave, somehow a good thing. Dave, you don't know anything. What you, you don't well, know what you're talking about. I don't think you about. understand. Paul, let's let Dave finish up, Paul. Paul, let's let Dave finish up, Paul. Come down here and I'll, okay. I'll, I'll show you around, okay? Okay. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll walk you through the streets of Alabama and educate you because obviously you don't know what you're talking you, about, Dave. You absolutely no. <laughs> Paul, I'll, Paul, Paul, if you <laughs> if you want to do your thing, Come on go down. right I'll ahead, meet you at the airport at you know five o'clock. You, you, Guys, you, it's a spirited you know, discussion that helps you with an entire group They're of people. Actually, you know, there's actually a large African American population in the South too, Paul. You might want to think about them as you talk about the no South kidding. and what is or well, isn't offensive. I, I have thought about it. All right, Bamani, really? you're, you're nodding your head over there. Let's, next, uh, gentlemen, let me bring Bamani Jones in. Bamani, I see you over there nodding your head. Won't you please jump in? Well, on that particular point, and hopefully not to belabor it, the problem with the song the South should have, if the South would have won, is that there's not a single mention of black people anywhere in the entire song when you listen to it. It is a Southern utopia, and you would have no idea black people ever existed in that song. So I don't find that statement necessarily to be ridiculous that he made. I do have this question, though. When the professor before uh, made the discussion that, you know, just this doesn't affect or someone said this doesn't affect how Hank Williams Jr. does his job. He is absolutely a representative of the brand in this example, and he has attached himself very publicly to some politics that a lot of people find offensive and that a lot of people find to be extreme. And just because a lot of people in Alabama might be on the same side of those politics does not mean that they are any less extreme or extreme or offensive to some people. And when you call the president of the United States, quote, the enemy, and that is a part that Hank Williams Jr. never fell back from, then we do have a problem. Paul, let's, yeah, let's talk about that distinction. There is, there is the issue of whether or not he can say it and be punished for it, but there are also the statements that he made on their own. What sort of reaction, are you, the, the support that you talk about? Well, what is the people all, are supporting? First of, all, first of all, my parents are from New York. I happen to be Jewish. I lost relatives in the Holocaust, so I don't need Dave Zirin or Bomani Jones lecturing me on, on my background and my Whoa, culture. I, I live I in the South, say, and I'm proud of it. And I, and I happen to. I happened I'm to go to a concert time. a couple of weeks ago that, that raised $3 million <laughs> for people in this state who lost everything in a tornado. And Darius Rucker was there. He happens to be an African-American. You know that, Bamani. And I'm just sick and tired of people mm. from el elsewhere, whether they're in Charlotte or anywhere else, making fun of people down here. These are good people. They're not racist. Paul. They're not bigots. They just happen to like country Paul. music. Oh, oh, and they happen to like Hank Williams. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Paul, you are, you are not any more more Southern than me. I was born in Atlanta. I grew up in Texas. I don't feel the need to prove that. I haven't made any jokes about anybody from Alabama. My mother has lived in Alabama Nor for the last I. 15 years. You're the one who nobody's just about nobody's black people down here, nobody. Not me. No, no, I'm talking about that song, which doesn't have a single mention of any black people in it and is cast as a utopia, which is part of this neo-Confederate thing that Hate Williams has had going for a while. It's not everybody in Alabama that feels that way about this. It's not everybody in Alabama that has a problem with the neo-Confederate mem. However, the problem with neo-Confederacy is that so much of it popped up in, at, right around segregation as you had a resistance toward that. But nobody is insulting the people in Alabama. I'm talking specifically about Hank Williams Jr. And please do not misrepresent me as saying anything bad about the, my mother's friend. Dave, you wanted to jump in Yeah, there? please don't do that either, Paul. Paul, that's an outrageous statement. I mean, if you want to talk about my relatives that died in the Holocaust or my time in the South, we could do that. That's not germane to this discussion at all. And frankly, it's cheap and unprofessional to bring that into this discussion, especially trying to hear you talk about Terrible. Darius Rucker. You, you, I mean, that's nothing to do with me this, on what's Paul. unprofessional, Paul, Dave? Let me finish. Give me a break, Paul, okay, buddy? Yeah, I am. Paul, 
Paul, seriously, why don't you do a Google search of Hank Williams Jr. Confederacy and see what comes up? It is a cottage industry well, listen, of Hank I Williams know Jr. Hank and the Williams Stars Jr. and Bars. ESPN, I don't need to do a Google if search. ESPN, I can call him up on the phone, if ESPN, and, and I know what he stands if, for. He's a country music if ESPN entertainer. Chooses, you get that entertainer? If, e <laughs> If he has for a living, the problem to not is your not a particular entertainer. Right. Can't, we can't do three at once. With that's, their brand. that's about that's two fine. too many. Uh, but Monty, you wanted to. You, you had a point you wanted to jump in with. Yeah, well, he absolutely is an entertainer, but Hank Williams Jr. is very much so involved in politics and has made that a very public part of who he is and his persona. And he was on Fox News speaking his, his notoriety as an entertainer, certainly, but he wasn't on Fox News singing a song. They were asking him his opinion about stuff. So for us to limit this and say, hey, well, Hank Williams Jr., he's just an entertainer, Oh, then well, why Monty, was he speaking on. in a context that is not, no, he was not speaking as an entertainer. He you, wasn't you, on country you, music television. Watched, he wasn't on MTV. Have, he was on Fox News. Have you Fox News? Well, well, I watch on, on occasion. On I don't do it habitually. They are entertainers. <laughs> Well, I mean, the point, that, but, but he was not, but he was not, but he was not, but he's, but he's, no, but he's speaking on a news channel and he's giving his political but do you opinion think anyone and he has done this quite really a bit. Paul, Paul, let me jump in with a question for Paul. Well, what, what's Paul, wrong right? with stating your public, what's, state, what's wrong with stating your political opinion? Well, Paul, that's my question to well, you. Yeah, is, just so you two guys yeah. don't agree with it you've and got, then you start hiding behind all these elitist attitudes, which people from the South are sick of, okay? Paul, let me jump in with a question for you. Paul, I'm as Southern as you are. Ridiculous. Paul, when Ridiculous you, when you yeah, have him right. on making that statement, thing has to stop, obviously Paul. from you know, just this discussion, it's very clear that Hank Williams' name cannot...